Hola, here to do a pink power reading, guys. Today we're asking the question, what do they think about regarding this connection? Once again, we're asking, what do they think about regarding this connection? We will do an extended read on this. We're naturally, we'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask what advice has been given to them regarding you all. And also we will ask, what will they do next? So keep in mind, this is a general reading. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up, because you two be tripping, tripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor and moonwalk your job ass on away from it. If you like to get a personal reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box down below. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me, because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, just to not stamp those initials on the back of my name, you can find all of that information down below. And if you are interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, you can find that listed down below. And if you would like to donate to the channel in any way, you can find my Amazon wish list. You can find a list titled, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things. You can, yes, there's so many lists, so many links, all down below. So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be happy, happy, if it would focus. Choice number one. Choice number two is going to be, uh-oh, mending. So somebody knock somebody down in choice number two. And choice number three is going to be message in a bottle. Pick whichever card resonates with you. <clears throat> kind of the flow of why I picked the, well, I ain't even gonna tell you. Cause if I, if I, I tell you if the reading turn out that way, if it don't, then I won't say shit. Cause y'all are picked for that. So on the count of three, we're gonna take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be happy, happy? Is it going to be mending? Or is it going to be message in a bottle? All right, universe. Happy, happy. What? does their person think about regarding this connection regarding this connection what is their person thinking about universe please make these messages as simple and as clear as possible okay swiftness eight of wands what does this person think about regarding this connection universe Ooh, six of cups pleasure pleasure plentiful Okay, five of wands, strife. What does this person think about? High priestess, the high priestess, the high priestess. That's interesting. Huh. Universe, what does this person think about regarding this connection? What does this person think about regarding this connection universe? Oh, yeah. We have the nine of wands. Strength. I'm reading the words at the top of these cards just in case y'all want to know what I'm doing. Okay. We have the ten of cups. Satiety. We have, oh Lord, it's a lot of cups. Four of cups, luxury, whoa. One more universe, what does this person think about regarding this connection? And we have the Hierophant. Mm. Oh shit, I figured, happy, happy. Yeah, okay. All right, <clears throat> so in regards to this connection, this person thinks about if they can actually bring happiness to you because they have a lot going on in their life. 
There's a lot that they aren't telling you about their life, a lot that they are struggling with, a lot that is keeping them from jumping full force into this connection. I feel like this connection for them came out of nowhere and it really caught them off guard, but it brought them a lot of pleasure and it brought them happiness they hadn't experienced in a very long time. And so there was something um, about you that they just recognized. And I'm not sure if you guys like instantly connected and, and like a relationship took off, but I do feel like there was a sense of couldn't get the other person out of your mind, couldn't stop thinking about them, some type of moment of impact and recognition, a lot of happiness, you guys just get along. You're like two children playing together and when you're together, there's an innocence about this, a lot of peace and a lot of prosperity that comes from this in the sense of abundant joy, abundant um, happiness, laughter, you know? Everything is very much in the moment, but it's something that they put on the back burner and it's not something that whether you know it or not because i do feel like this person holds back a lot from you in an effort to not hurt your feelings like this person is not looking to hurt you or harm you but this person is um they are absolutely keeping secrets from you and i feel as though this person can't fully dive into this situation completely um I definitely feel like, and I'm trying to get around it, but I can't. I definitely feel like this person has a situation from the past where there's unfinished business with somebody that made them extremely happy. And this person is a bit stuck in their ways and doesn't know if they want to, like they know they could be, I mean, you have the sun, happy, happy, six of cups here. They know that they could be happy with you, but I do feel like the person from their past, maybe they're having some type of custody battles, or maybe they're fighting over property or businesses, or it, like something happened with that person from the past where they don't know if they want to give love another try. Like they don't know if they want to take the next step with you, whatever that next step is in your particular connection, because this is a general reading. They don't know if they want to take that next step with you. They absolutely, again, they absolutely know that they could be happy with you. But I, I just feel like they don't know if they want to rise to the occasion. Because, you know, when we start talking about love and stuff, love automatically comes with the possibility of heartbreak, of heartache, right? We can get hurt. And it's so funny because that this Hierophant card is the only card sitting back. All the other cards are sitting up like this. This Hierophant card is sitting back like that. And so I feel like this person is like stepping back and observing observing if they you know looking at everything looking over their life reflecting seeing the peace and the pro prosperity the abundance the happiness um but also taking into consideration all that they're holding back from you in regards to them battling things could be battling themselves battling growth battling somebody from their past and just not knowing if they want to solidify things and go further with you. And so that's what they think about in regards to this connection. You know, if they could, if they want to go further with you. And not because they don't see greatness with you. It's just they don't want to risk having to go through the breakup, the fear, the sadness, the downsides of things. This person likes to be... This person likes to ride the wave of happiness. This person doesn't really want to deal with the fights and stuff. They just want things to be like always at the beginning of, of things, you know, the, the, the thrill of the chase almost. And it's like kind of when they catch you, ah, I could really be happy with this person, but let me make up some bullshit and go chase something else, you know? They are a bit of a pleasure seeker, a thrill seeker, an adrenaline junkie. And I also think that this person is keeping you 
apart from this strife in their life purposely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what they think about, taking this to the next level and if they want to do it. So we're going to do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask what advice has been given to them regarding you all, and we'll also ask what will they do next. So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to follow me on TikTok, uh, I have two pages, Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Pusher. And on Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. On Instagram, it's The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. Soon it ain't going to be Facebook. It's going to be Meta, Metaverse, whatever. If you like to follow me, all the links are down below. If you don't want to follow me nowhere, yo ass show ain't got to. This shit, I'm lost too. Hell. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right. Universe, let's move that on out the way. And we'll shift to mending. <clears throat> Universe, people who chose mending. What does their person think about regarding them? Please keep these messages as simple and as clear as possible. Universe, what does their person think about regarding them? First card, three of wands. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Hermit card. What does this person think about regarding them? We have, ooh, Judgment in Reverse, huh? What does this person think about regarding them? We have the Page of Swords in reverse. What does this person think about regarding them, universe? We have the Four of Swords. What does this person think about regarding them? We have the Five of Pentacles. Hoping and wishing and praying. And we have the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. This person thinks that you don't love them no more. You've abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. This person is waiting for you to reach out to them. Um, and like trying to figure out a way where they can reach out to you. Like make up some bullshit to, to be slick and manipulative to reach out to you. Because they just see you as... Um, not moving, not making a move and not wanting to make a move, not wanting to mend things, quite honestly. And so what they're thinking about is that they won't have an opportunity to do this again and that you aren't checking for them. Oh, baby, don't you know you like what you see? Won't you come over and check up on me, baby? Won't you check up on me? Watch it while you check up on me. Dun -dun 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 check up on me tonight. No, I'm not. This person, <laughs> this person sees you standing your ground, not moving, and it's doing a number on them. This person, um, they, they're starting to really get into their feelings about their self-worth. Like, this is really, really something about you all. I just feel like this person never thought that they would truly lose you or never thought. But something that they've done that's been very manipulative, a lot of betrayal, um, something you were waiting for them to come clean on, um, and a lot of manipulation, a lot of puppet mastery, a lot of pulling on your strings to try to get a rise out of you so that you would follow them and chase them. Like this person play a mean game at getting you to chase them around and never really wanted to commit. You could never catch this person. This person was always that carrot dangling from a stick. You should have bashed them over the head with it. Damn, mule. But, um, and it's like once upon a time, you waited for this person to come around. You waited for this person to, to snap out of it and to really come to their senses. And so they're reflecting upon that. They're reflecting upon all the games that they played to make it to the, to get to this point where they feel, now whether or not this is true, I don't know. But they feel like there's not another chance for this because they're not getting any forward movement from you. They're not getting any signs, symbols. 
you not delivering shit, you not chasing after them, you not making up stuff to come after them, you not watching them, you not you not nothing them. You are just standing your ground and I feel like this person is thinking about um there's some type of financial impact this person had upon you. Um and all the burdens that they caused you. Like this person was not a walk in the park. This person gave you a run for their money, for your money. And this person was not acting from a place or a space of love. And so they were reflecting upon all of that and realizing what they've done and, and kind of coming to their senses as to why you're not chasing them and why you are kind of moving on. You looking in a different direction now. You're, you're only in that car mending. Um, and so you took on a lot of these, this person's burdens. You took on a lot of this person's karma. You took on a lot of, of this person's everything. You made this person's problems your problems. And I feel like that's done a number on you, especially like if you were helping them financially and stuff, like you took a hit. So you had to recover from that. So I feel like you, you since been able to recover but you 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 haven't i don't know it's like you you are leaving the past behind but that doesn't necessarily mean this person really it just means you the all the the person who you were when you were dealing with this person not having boundaries and allowing them to take advantage of you like this that's what you're leaving behind and you have a new fire that has been ignited within you and this person can sense it and they feel like they don't have another chance with you and and they keep this person is hovering over you. This person is is like watching you, but realizing you ain't checking for them. Like you're not leaving little breadcrumbs for them. Whereas you might have used to post shit and like hint to them or something like that. You know what I mean? Like you cut all ties with that, and you were just kind of shifting on, looking in another direction. Genuinely. Mm hmm. And that's what they're thinking about, not having another opportunity with you and what they put you through to get to this space, but, but still trying to figure out how to get your attention. That's what it, we got there in the end. We always do, don't we? They're thinking about how to get your attention because they're not used to having to grab at your attention. They're used to automatically having it. So that's what they're thinking about. So we're going to do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask what advice has been given to them regarding you all. And we'll also ask what will they do next? So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. You can follow me on TikTok where I have two channels, Mystic Butterfly and the Red Pill Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, it's the red pill pusher with two H's in the push. If you don't want to follow me nowhere because you know I'm lost too. You ain't got to just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, universe. Read number three. Woo! Thank you for letting these be easy today. So, what is this person thinking about regarding this connection, universe? What is this person thinking about regarding this connection? Please make these messages as simple as possible. What is this person thinking about regarding this connection? We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. What are they thinking about? We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> we have the Strength card. One at a time, please, universe. What is this person thinking about? We have the Seven of Cups. 
We have the King of Cups. Ooh, that was quick. And we have the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card. These are so easy today. This person is thinking about too little too late. This person is thinking about um, how they didn't prioritize you, how they were not showing you love, how they were doing everything in their power to keep you um, in your spot out of fear, to keep you loving them out of fear, but not reciprocating any love to you. This is, this is someone who appeared to be very cold, um, someone who was always busy, always having to give their time to other things, other people, um, and who really like dangled love in front of your face. Like, so this might've been somebody who kept giving you these promises, these broken promises or telling you they would do things with you. And then they wouldn't, they would cancel at the last minute. This is someone whose words and actions weren't matching up, but they're their words were very manipulative. They misguided you and misled you. Like they led you on to believe that they were gonna give you more than they gave you. And you continued in that cycle over and over again. And you fell for this person afraid of losing them because the game that they was playing was a hell of a game. It was very um, calculating very misleading and not at all honest because that king of swords hasn't accepted that sword yet so they're they hadn't cut themselves away from the bullshit yet mm -hmm. so you met an imposter you met somebody and didn't really meet the real person and um this person did all of this dangle love in front of your face because this person realized your worth and your value and they it was like you were a trophy wife or a token you know what i mean like you were um you could have been a rich husband or some shit you you were a prize to be won because they knew other people had interest in you and that you could have anybody that you wanted but they, they, this, this is somebody who knocked your self-confidence way down. This person made you forget, or they can't make you. You allowed this person to cause amnesia. You forgot who the fuck you were. But this person knew it the whole time. And... you have since regained or are in the process because the king of cups hasn't accepted their cup yet you're in the process of remembering who the fuck you were and opening yourself up to options and maybe dating again and seeing other people and walking away from the many faces of this person and that's what they're thinking about you got away you got away. You got away and this person's mind is playing tricks on them now. Mm -hmm. Now this person is like, oh Lord, now all of those, they're going to see those options that I was trying to hide from them. They're going to see, you know, that people want to love them. They're going to see that I was the one betraying them and they're going to move on from that and they're going to thrive and this person absolutely wants to communicate because they do not want that to happen mm -hmm. so this what this person is thinking about regarding this connection you got away you're not falling for that bullshit no more you got away you got away. You got away from the manipulation, the fear, the scare tactics, the dangling love in front of your face, the misaligning um, words and actions, the coldness. You were very, you felt very alone in this connection. Here's the thing, though, and I hate to say this, especially when there's so much emotional abuse, because this is emotional abuse. This person... Um, has feelings for you i i don't want to call it love because i mean if they loved you they wouldn't do this i just feel like but 
this person does have feelings for you and but this person instead of showing their feelings for you this person decided to act out of fear so they let fear reign supreme because they didn't think that they were enough so they they like did all these things to knock you down off the pedestal and to pull you down to their level of lack and and so you instead of them validating themselves and raising themselves up you found yourself having to do that for them leading cheerleading for them and amping them up and stroking their ego and believing in them and being there for them and you neglected yourself over and over and over again until finally you hit ground zero and you had to walk away and this person is just like they got away they got away we get into the extended and this person accepts that sword it's gonna hit them in a very honest way and i am thankful i'm not them because whoo that's gonna be like the Power Ranger sword when they come together and create that big ass robot that's supposed to be like Voltron, but it ain't Voltron because it's the Power Rangers. So we're gonna do an extended read on this. We're gonna take a deeper dive into the overview. We're gonna ask what advice has been given to them regarding you all. I hope it's some good advice. And we're also gonna ask what will they do next? So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, the name is The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. On Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. And on TikTok, I am Mystic Butterfly and also The Red Pill Pusher. If you don't wanna follow me nowhere, cause you know I'm lost too, you don't have to, peoples. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.